Hello everyone, this is Jacob Ames, Applications Engineer with Hawkridge Systems. Today we're going to have a look at using envelopes, a handy tool for working with components in an assembly when we need them for geometric references but would like to exclude them from other calculations. Envelopes can also be used for advanced selection methods and today we'll be exploring both applications. We're starting off with a basic assembly containing a railroad cart whose geometry references the track beneath it. You'll notice that in its current state, the center of mass shown on the screen here is considering the mass of the railroad as well, which we'd like to exclude from calculations and hide from the graphics area. Simply hiding the component does remove the graphics, but we find that the center of mass remains unmoved, and the tracks are still being considered in all calculations. On the other hand, if we simply suppress the component, the center of mass does change to the appropriate location, but a quick look at the Feature Manager design tree indicates that we now have out-of-context references, which can cause some downstream complications. So this is where envelopes come in real handy. Activating envelopes is very simple. We simply choose the component that we would like to make an envelope. We choose Component Properties, and at the bottom right-hand corner of the dialog, you'll see a checkbox for envelope. We'll go ahead and turn that on, and you can see that it turns to its default semi-transparent state which can be changed from uh, the colors category of the system options. As a result of using this envelope, uh, you'll find that the tracks have been excluded from all calculations as indicated by the new position of the center of mass, and a quick look at the feature manager indicates that we have maintained all of our in-context references. And we can now, of course, hide these tracks using any traditional methods and set that up for a nice drawing view. And it's also worth noting uh, that those tracks will not appear in the assembly's bill of materials. To use an envelope as an advanced selection method, we've created a simple rectangular extrusion representing the volume we'd like to use to select the components. So I'll go ahead and unsuppress that now. We'll simply move the cart into the volume that we would like to use. And then under the drop down in the selection tool, we'll choose advanced select. From here, under category one, we'll choose the envelope select option. Under condition, we can choose whether we'd like to select components that are inside, crossing, or outside the boundary of our envelope. So we'll go ahead and choose inside. And then under value, we'll just choose the appropriate envelope and select apply. And once we close this down, you can see that all of the components that are fully contained within the boundary of that envelope have been selected. And of course, this can be combined with traditional selection methods as well. In today's video, we learned about the envelope tool's ability to exclude reference components from calculations while keeping uh, external relations in context. And we also saw how envelopes can be used as an advanced selection method. If you found this video helpful, please give us a like, subscribe, or visit us at hawkridgesys.com. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.